what is going on guys welcome back to the rift my name is terrence can't really go by rifty anymore it seems someone more popular than me has that name no worries we'll just go by my government name um i know it has been forever by forever it's been like four or five years since i uploaded a video um regarding mixed martial arts or uh, uh virtual reality um, and I believe I'm kind of back. Uh, I, I'm going to try to upload some videos while in quarantine. I've kind of set up a couple of things. I put in a PCIe uh, uh, capture card in my computer so I can even do some EA UFC 3 and maybe some UFC 4 news type videos. And I just got an Oculus Quest. Those things are super hard to get right now. It took me scavenging for like a month straight uh, refreshing sites and I just got lucky with a local Best Buy having one so I have one of those. Uh, the gameplay you're looking at right now is actually me playing Pavlov about 30 minutes ago. I just recorded this real quick with the built-in quest recorder so it's not going to be of the highest quality or anything like that but I do have side quests um, so I can do like the full widescreen recording and everything um, and I'm hoping I'm hoping real soon here uh, I can play some VR chat and record some footage uh, for you guys of that the great Gambino whose channel I will link in the description is gonna help me with that and walk me through some stuff teach me some cool uh, uh, worlds to hang out in and such some games to play in VR chat um, and so hopefully we'll be playing some of that very shortly um, I also want to take advantage of oculus link I just bought another uh, USB 3.0 cable but I was playing with it with the USB 2.0 cable um, since they recently added that support uh, in the latest update, so you can use the the uh, uh, what do you call it USB uh, is it Type C? Am I getting that right? I feel like I should know this by now. As techy as I am, um, the included charging cable with Oculus Quest can now be used to do Oculus uh, Link. Um, for me, it was kind of hit hit or miss. Excuse me. Um, some of that might be because I'm still using a GTX 970 with four gigs of, of virtual RAM or uh, video card RAM. Um, I need to upgrade that. I'll probably buy like a 1660 or something because I don't do like heavy PC gaming and my best monitor is only like 75 hertz, 1080. So nothing crazy, that gangster shot there. The side, the side shooting, the drive-by shooting at the range. Um, I actually during quarantine, I know it's only been like what two months, three months. Um, I picked up a lot of new hobbies. Uh, one of course being getting back into virtual reality. Um, but I've also I just bought my first gun. I bought a Glock, and I'm probably about to go out and also buy an AR. Um, I know some people may not be fond of guns and such. I promise I only use mine for target practice and range shooting. So. Um, yeah, but I, I've been really fascinated. So anyways, let's let's kind of get to the VR before this video gets too long here um, So I hopped in Pavlov side loaded it um, through side quests, and I've been playing it in Beat Saber uh, Because like I said, I picked up the hobby of guns I was super fascinated to kind of get in here and just play around with some guns that I've gotten my hands on recently uh, and see how it feels um, to kind of virtually play with those now there are some moments where you're gonna see me awkwardly moving around I'm still kind of getting my VR legs underneath me again So moving with the joystick is a pain and my actual area that I can walk within is not very I guess large I should say um, it's probably like uh, maybe a meter by a meter <laughs> It's not very big. It's like maybe four feet by four feet so I don't have much room to kind of um, move around in uh, and the stationary setup to me is just not as fun as being able to be on your two feet um, thrill of the fight was another game I put in a lot of time I actually use that as a workout while gyms are closed now um, I don't think I've ever talked about it on this channel but I used to do kickboxing I've done jiu-jitsu um, so I'm a big fan of martial arts and have been for about a decade now um, I started my senior year or no my junior year in high school um, and got really into it my senior year because of a friend who was a kickboxer and so um, doing thrill of the fight boxing I immediately I was just like oh this is gonna be one of those wacky games just throw haymakers uh, and, and you'll be fine and so I'm throwing these freaking haymakers and I drop the dude and then I go to the next challenge uh, after I beat the first guy and he's tougher um, so I'm like playing I think I even turned up the difficulty because I was like ah oh, that was too easy so I'm throwing haymakers and the dude goes down gets back up like eight count um, and then you know it's pretty competitive we're back and forth he flashes me a couple times doesn't knock me down first round ends and I go back to my corner 
and I actually have to use the 60 seconds. Like I went, I was basically, if you count the first like two games I played the tutorial and like the first or second match, at that point I had probably fought an actual, uh, if rounds are two, two and a half minutes, then I probably have fought like five rounds up until that point with maybe only two minutes of rest. Um, and I was exhausted. I was like sweating into my quest and stuff. And I wear my glasses underneath my quest. So you can imagine it was like a swamp pit inside of my quest. Oh, so I am loving VR. I'm loving Pavlov getting to shoot around with a lot of these guns. You'll see me a couple times play around with um, like magazines and how to reload, for instance, like dropping the clip, emptying the clip, doing the plus one, um, and then reloading it. You'll see me racking a lot. Um, that's just me playing with different ways to reload, right? Because like with my Glock, for instance, I can rack it um, to load it. I can kind of load it and then hit the slide release. I have a whole lot of different options. Like right here, you see me kind of playing with the, I think that's the UMP, um, if I'm not incorrect. Uh, you see me kind of playing with um, racking it and loading it and etc. cetera. Uh, so I'm really, I'm just enjoying that virtual reality has come so far, right? Um, the last time I played with it was the CV-1, and honestly, I only kept that one for maybe a month or two before I just, I was like, eh, VR's not really my thing anymore. It was fun, you know, to be in early on it during Dev Kit 1 and the Kickstarter and all that. Um, but honestly, it feels really good to be back. If you guys want to see me play any specific games, whether they're um, <laughs> me struggling there to grip the freaking, what is that, a 50 cal? I don't know how I struggled on that. Obviously, you're going to grip it behind. It doesn't matter. Behind the stand is where you're always going to grip it if you're going to grip it like that. But typically, you're going to have it um, planted on like a, a desk or a ground or something like that. Um, but anyways, sorry, beside the point, me going into guns. If you guys want to see me make gun videos, I can do that too. <laughs> I've gotten really into them and I'd love to learn some more, um, about them. But anyway, sorry, this video is going too long. Let me wrap it up. Uh, if you guys want to see me play any specific VR games, whether on desktop or just on the quest, let me know if you have any suggestions for me as far as, uh, ways to improve the quest. Um, different things to try on the quest, experiences, etc., etc. Um, or if you guys just want to play something with me, I mean, I, I don't know how often I'll have time just because I suck at loading this. I don't understand why I didn't just turn it down and then load it. I'm trying to load it, and it may not look like it on the camera, but it's actually the Barrett is kind of, it might not be a Barrett, but the 50 cal is kind of, uh, like up. Um, so the bullet's just falling out. Like you, Gravity is real. You have to. I really like that about the quest, too. If you don't aim it down, the bullet's just going to fall out as it would in real life, right? So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It feels good to be here making another video. Um, and hopefully, I'll see your beautiful faces very soon. If you see any MMA content on the channel, um, leave your constructive feedback on whether you want to see more of that or not i don't know yet if i'm going to be making any ea ufc 3 footage but i do have that capture card now so if that's something you guys are interested in if you're interested in hearing my recaps on ufc events i'm always buying and watching those let me know again this has been terrence and it is good to be back to the rift sorry i had to make that pun all right guys take it easy um hit that like button for me and leave me a comment below and i'll talk to you guys very soon thank you Peace.